Hey guys, just arrived at a place called Coella Camping uh, on the Moor River. Um, I've stayed nearby before at a place called Mystic Acres, so I'm familiar with the area, it's beautiful, and I'm here solo. And I'm here to do one thing, and that is test a new product. I don't know about you guys, but I've never heard of an air swag before, so the thought of that appealed to me. Um, a company called Vic Off Road reached out to me recently, and they said, hey, would you be willing to review our product? I said, sure. Um, it needs to be honest, as always, so if it's a great product, I'll say it's a great product. If it's not, I'll also report back on that as well. So we're gonna get straight into it. Um, we'll look at the size, we'll look at the comfort, and then I'll, I'll also sleep in the swag for tonight and report back in the morning. Most of you that have been following the channel for a while would know that I tour with a King's Big Daddy swag. I've had that for a number of years now and value for money, it's been fantastic. It's taken me everywhere. Uh, the one downside uh, is really the size, it's quite big. In fact, with my electric slide in the ute, I can't actually run it uh, vertically. So I have been considering maybe something a little bit smaller in the future, particularly if I do a trip with a friend um, and the two of us are in the same car. That is one of the claimed advantages of a pop-up swag. So I'm keen to actually see how that works out. I'll show you now how much room it actually takes up in my vehicle. So essentially I've got one side that's dedicated to this um, package being the mattress. Uh, behind it is the actual swag itself and then there's a small bag that has the pump in. So you probably look at that and I would say it's about a third of my ute is taken up. Uh, importantly, I can actually run it this way. In the middle I've got firewood, some water, miscellaneous tools and I've also got room for my 50 litre fridge and my Dometic lithium battery. I could easily fit two of those side by side in my tray and still have the fridge and the battery. So that is certainly an advantage um, straight away compared to the size of my large swag at the moment. This is what you get straight out of the box. Um, you've got the three products, the foam mattress, the inflatable swag itself, and then you've got the pump inflation tool. So one suggestion guys is having a ground sheet. So a good ground sheet will make sure that all your gear stays dirt free. So uh, definitely recommend you add one of them to your camping kit if you don't have one already. Uh, we're gonna get started now. We're gonna unpack each bag and go through the process. So we're gonna start with the swag bag first. Okay, we a couple of clips there which we can just open. This is our second bag, which we're just going to open now. So inside we have a pole, that's for the awning. We have our pump and we have a little pouch here with some guy ropes and some pegs. Over there is our foam mattress, we'll add that in last. It's always the way isn't it, you start to set up your tent or your swag and it starts to rain. So I'm going to try and get my skates on here and do this quickly <laughs> so um, uh, everything's nice and dry for me tonight when I sleep. Alright, so let's pump this thing up. Here's our inflation area. So what we want to do is just screw the top on here and then we're going to connect our pump into that hole at the top. The rain's got a bit heavier during the install, so I just had a bit of a break for a minute. We're gonna let it pass and then we'll get back to phase two, but um, at least you know it's gonna be properly tested in this review. Okay, after our short rain delay, we're back. So now I can get onto that inflatable mattress. All right, the good news is it's bone dry inside, so none of that rain has made its way in, that's good. But now we can put our foam mattress inside the swag. It does have a really nice feel to it, uh, this foam mattress. So it's seven centimeters thick, um, but it's got a nice plush sort of feel. So um, that should be reasonably soft during the night, but keen to test that out. Final step, setting up a little awning. So we'll do that now. Probably not something I would normally put up if it's raining, but it sort of seems to be okay now. You've got your eyelets here on the edge of your swag. Slide that over and put the first one into position. So best to just rest it up to your swag like that and then connect your guy ropes, the top corners, and position it as you wish. That took a lot longer than expected because it kept absolutely bucketing it down just for like a few minutes and then it would stop. So kind of stopping starting the filming. So 
Definitely took longer than expected, but um, look how it's come out, looks great. So that's the awning set up there at the front. Comes with ropes to tie down your ends. You can have airflow running through the swag. The other side it will open up as well, or roll up, depending on how you want to do it. And inside, I have to say, it is very spacious. A lot bigger than I was expecting. Um, in fact, I would go and say it's actually bigger than the King's Big Daddy that I've been uh, staying in on recent years. So this is this is excellent. Okay, in terms of the inflation, so these are the poles that inflate, and you've got a center pole as well. You'll find when you're pumping it up, it'll get to a certain point, and you and it'll just open itself. So you know you don't need to pump it till you know <laughs> it's a uh, it's. It's not a road tire on a, on a bicycle or anything. It doesn't need to be that hard. So just firm enough that it gives it its structure. Just having to sit on the mattress here. And I must say it is nice and comfortable. So um, I think we want to have a good night's sleep tonight. But as always, I'll report back. I'll sleep in and we can see how it's held up in the elements. I've just woken up. You can probably tell by my messy hair. So we had a, a bit of rain before bedtime. Um, you can see the outside of the swag is quite wet, uh, but I'm bone dry inside, which is which is excellent. So I actually had a really good sleep. Uh, mattress was comfortable. It was a really cold night, so I was tucked away in my sleeping bag with an extra blanket. Um, but I wouldn't say it was any cooler than my normal swag. It was just a really cold night. Uh, but everything held up. Um, Everything, even the sides of the swag, um, inside at least, are dry, uh, but the exterior is, is quite wet. Um, there's a little bit of condensation on the inside of the swag, but um, nothing that has dripped down during the night. I might not do a proper pack down today and put everything back in its original bags. The reason being is it has been so wet and this will need to be dried properly. So I'll likely reset it up back at home and let it all dry and air out. Um, obviously we don't want mold to build up, but um, yeah, happy with a good night's sleep. Bit of bacon and eggs in the morning always goes down a treat, doesn't it? The sun's actually come out, so I think it's gonna be a beautiful day today. So just giving it a bit of time to hopefully uh, dry out the swag. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down, enjoy some brekkie, and then uh, we'll have a bit of a chat about um, the overall experience and uh, I guess the inflatable swag versus a traditional swag. Back down is pretty simple with this inflatable swag, um, particularly the exterior frame. So there's one valve, you undo it and the whole thing collapses, so super easy. Um, I would say the hardest part of the pack down is actually the foam mattress because it is a, a full foam, it's not a self-inflating mattress. Um, the benefits of that I would say are comfort, um, it is quite comfortable to sleep on, had a great night's sleep, but it will take up a bit more space compared to a self-inflating mattress obviously, which you roll the air out before you put it away. There's definitely a knack to doing it. My advice, if you are buying one of these, pay attention to the way it is wrapped up in the bag and basically repeat the same process to pack it down. So I'm not gonna put the whole uh, swag back in the bag properly this morning because everything is still quite wet. I'll quickly show you how easy it is to actually deflate um, the swag. This is one of the main benefits, is the inflation and deflation time. So inside one of the corners of your swag, you'll see this little valve outlet here. Um, all you need to do to deflate it is undo the main body here. And that's it. So now I've had the chance to sleep in it um, over a night. I thought we could quickly chat pros and cons about the inflatable swag versus a traditional swag. Uh, we'll start with space. I think the clear winner there is the inflatable swag. Um, as, as I showed yesterday, I could easily fit two of those in my tray setup, so that's a plus. Um, also a little bit lighter than a traditional swag. On to setup, I would also say that's a win for the inflatable swag. Um, the fact that, you know, within a few pumps you can have your whole frame set up um, is a real plus. And once you've got your uh, mattress set up, you're good, you're good to go. Saying that though, a traditional swag is not hard to set up. Um, it just requires a bit more time, particularly those arches on either side of the swag. They can be a little bit finicky, 
and you can even find that the clips can be prone to breaking as well. Let's go to comfort. I would say very comparable. The mattress in my Big Daddy is slightly thicker, but I didn't notice it. I would say potentially that a traditional swag, um, that the canvas is a bit thicker. So um, a little bit more heavy duty, but saying that I didn't notice any difference in terms of light, no issues with um, you know water or real differences with condensation. So that was good. In terms of pack down, this is probably where I think a traditional swag has the advantage. Uh, you know, you take out your center pole, take out your ends, and you just roll it up and chuck it in the bag. It's very easy. Uh, with the inflatable, you know, obviously airing down the main unit is easy, it takes a few seconds. Um, but I found the actual mattress itself a little bit tricky. Um, so I would say advantage to a traditional swag in terms of pack down. If you wanted to simplify the pack down even more, you could look at a self-inflating mattress instead. So uh, as opposed to using what comes with a kit, which is a foam mattress, you could go with a self-inflating mattress. They're pretty easy. Open the valves, roll it up. That might save a bit of time as well. Uh, but it's probably just getting the knack. You know, there's probably a better way to do it. And yeah, once you get your process down pack, you'll be, you'll be good. There is one other option on the market that I've seen. It's a Dometic inflatable swag. I haven't tested it or seen any reviews on that yet. The question you're all probably asking is, would I recommend this swag? And yeah, look, if you wanna get out and about and you're thinking, oh, I just don't have the room to fit a normal swag in, this is a great option for you. I think if I was going somewhere really remote, I'm gonna take my normal swag. Why? It's probably less that can go wrong, right? Um, that's the reality. Uh, there's a couple of poles, if a pole breaks I can fix it um, and I'll be I'll be all good um, you know these seem pretty robust but you know there is an inflation element there and you know if that was to, to burst I'd, somewhere really remote I don't know um, I guess I'd have to think about bringing a repair kit or something along with me I enjoyed my my one night away and uh, I guess you guys got to see it <laughs> properly tested in the wet um, to really see how it holds up I woke up dry, that's always a good thing. Um, but yeah, love to know your thoughts. Uh, would you consider getting one? What do you think of the pros? What do you think of the cons? Drop me your comments below, I'd love to know. It's great to see new innovations coming into the camping scene all the time. Guys, as a small way of saying thanks for your ongoing support, I'd like to give away this inflatable swag. Uh, to win, simply drop a comment below and uh, next Sunday I'll draw the lucky winner. I'd love to know um, how you plan on using this inflatable swag as well, so please let me know below in the comments. Collections available within the Perth metro area, so if you win and you're outside of the metro area, you can organize uh, postage uh, for the item, but uh, good luck if you're gonna enter, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.